Hello, my young friends. How are you today? I hope this day finds you well. Well, guess what? Today officially begins the season of Lent. Lent is a season on our Christian calendar similar to Advent season. It is a season in which we make an extra special effort to remember Jesus's ministry and to live the way God wants us to. We observe Lent in many, many, many ways. This year, Mr. Sackman and I put together a special bag for you and your parents to help you observe Lent in a meaningful and fun way. This bag and all the goodies in it will help us learn more about God and Jesus and how to, we are to live as Jesus' disciples. One item in this bag is the Lenten calendar. The Lenten calendar has many different activities for you and your family to do each day of Lent. Now, I wonder what the focus of this calendar is. Well, there are many focuses, but there are four in particular I'd like you to key in on. One is remembering, which means to call something to mind and give thanks. Another is fasting which means to give up something. The third is giving, which means to offer up something or to give something to someone else. And the fourth focus is praying, which means talking with God. This calendar will create a Lenten journey path. You can use the heart stickers that were also in your handy dandy Lenten bag to mark each day's activity as complete. And it will show you as you complete the activities, it'll show you this really neat path on the paper leading us all the way up to Alleluia Sunday, Easter Sunday. Isn't that wonderful? All right. Now, another way we can observe Lent is to worship and study. You and your family can use the scriptures, the lessons, and the questions, the wonder questions, I bring to you each Sunday to help with this. Today, we begin our Lenten journey together. Well, by now, I hope you have selected your special spot. This will be my special spot with all your goodies displayed. And we have cups that we need, little dishes. We have a clothespin. We have a cross. We have a candle. What else is in here? Some rocks, a pipe cleaner. Hmm. I wonder what all of these things are for. A bag of sand, a seashell, a rock, and last but not least, a seed bulb. So I asked you to lay out all the items in the bag near your purple mat. I asked you to cut color and cut out your cross. Now, I want you to have this displayed for the Lenten season because it will be a reminder of God, a reminder to remember, to pray, to give, to, and to fast. And also, let's not forget to learn and worship together with me and your family. Each Sunday, we are going to meet here on the purple mat and read scriptures and enjoy an activity today, together. Today's big activity. Whoa, you, I like this activity. All right, let's get started. Lent is a journey in which leads us to the empty cross, the cross of hope. I want you to hold up your beautiful empty cross and I want you to lay the cross down 
on the mat upside down. And I want you to keep it that way, okay? Maybe for now, you can even put your rock on top of it as a reminder to not turn it over. Now, let's grab one little plastic dish and let's grab our rocks and our seed bulb. Last week, we talked about transfiguration and I have a quick review for you. Another word for transfiguration is transformation. When we think of that word, I want you to think of it broken down into parts. So the first part is trans and trans means to change. The second part is figure, the middle of the word. Figure means to shape or to form. And the third part of the word, oh wait, sorry, back it up. Trans plus figure equals to change, shape, or form. And now we have all of it together. Trans, figure, Asian equals transfiguration. So what things can we transfigure or transform? Well, today we are going to work on transfiguring or transforming this seed into a flower. All right. I would like you to go ahead and Pour your rocks into your cup. Just enough, not quite to the top. And then just push them, gently push them aside so that your seed bulb can have a little bed. Now place your seed bulb you should see tiny little nodules right here. You're gonna place that little seed bulb and you're gonna turn it upside down there and place it inside the little hole you created gently. There we go. And now I want you to take a little bit of water and pour that gently inside your bowl, just enough to come up to the top of that seed bulb so it can drink, okay? Now, I am going to put my little dish in a sunny window, this one behind me. So I would like you to find a sunny location for your seed bulb. And then the other thing you have to do to take care of your seed bulb is to watch for the water, right? Because water evaporates and also the little seed bulb is going to drink it. So it needs to be replenished. So when you know that it needs to be replenished, just pour just a little bit more in there, okay? All right, watching the growth of a flower seed reminds us of the miracle of hope and transformation that is coming in the promise of Easter. The seeds change, they decay, and they transform into a new life a new life that we can't really imagine when we planted it, can we? Because I want you to wonder with me, I wonder what color is inside that seed bulb. I wonder what it's gonna be. And I also wonder when it will bloom. Hmm. Well, as we wonder together, I would like to read a parable about a seed, a mustard seed. It is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 13, verses 18 and 19. Will you listen to the Word of God with me? Ah, this section is called Growth of God's Kingdom. Jesus asks, what is the kingdom like? To what can I compare it? It is like a mustard seed that someone took and planted in a garden. It grew and it developed into a tree and the birds in the sky nested in its branches. Again, he said, what can I compare God's kingdom? The word of the Lord. Well, as we said, this is gonna grow into something. 
God's kingdom's like that, isn't it? When we plant seeds of love and kindness, they grow and they spread loving kindness into the world. Now, here's my wonder questions for you to discuss with your parents this week. All right, you ready? What other things can you think of that transfigure or transform or change? What can you think of? Make a list and have fun with that. And then I want you to discuss change, the word change with your parents. When is change a good thing in particular and why? All right now, thank you so much for spending time with me on the Purple Mat. I will see you next week. Same time, same bat place. Bye-bye.